Welcome back once again. Today we are going to explore Windows Forms, WinForms application inside the Visual Studio 22. If you are a beginner, begin to build your first desktop app. This is the perfect place to start. By the end of this video, know how to create a new WinForms project. Design a simple Windows desktop app with uh, drag and drop control. Run and test your application. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have it. Let's get straight into it. As you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2026 open. Um, so to get us started, if you have it, if you don't have it installed here, yeah, make sure you do install. Let's have a look if we've got the necessary components or workload. Get started. Let's open our Visual Studio installer. Um, if you are not on this page, on the Visual Studio 2026 community side here, yeah, click on Modify. Once you click on Modify, take into this page or this this dialog. As you, as you can see here, we've got a bunch of workloads. Here. So we have to make sure for this video, select .dot .net desktop development. So this will actually help you build um, WPF Windows Forms. Um, and console application using C Sharp, Visual Basic, and F Sharp with .NET and .NET Framework. Okay, so make sure you select this bit, download and install it. Once you're done with that bit, open Visual Studio. So once we open our Visual Studio, let's go ahead and create a new project. So once once we click on the create a new project, this is what we get. So let's on the language side here, yeah, let's go ahead and select C sharp and then on the project types on the project type side here, yeah, all project types here, yeah, let's go ahead and select uh, uh desktop. Once we select desktop and we've gone through all everything, the uh, Windows Forms app. Um, project template will appear here. So you can also use Windows Windows Forms app .NET framework, or you can use just the uh, .NET. Okay, so let's select the um, Windows Forms app and then click on Next. So here we can configure our project details like the project name and and whatnot. Yeah, so let's go ahead and click Next. So here we can select. Um, what the .NET framework that we want to use. We can select 8.0, 9.0, or the 10.0, just out on preview. So now we can go ahead and click on create. This will actually create a new Windows Forms project for us. So as you can see here now, we've got our Windows Forms project created for us. So let's quickly have a look at what's inside the project. So we've got the form one here, which is um, this form one here. We've got both in two phases, the design bit and then the code behind it. So this is this is a form one. You can you can add other forms to it, like an um, example, login forms, register forms and whatnot. Form basically like the screen. Okay. So we've got the program.cs, which is the um, entry point for this application. Okay, so whenever you start the application, this is where it actually runs. So as you can see, it's creating new instances of the form one. So the application initializes, and then the new form of, I mean, the new instance of form one is created. Okay, so let's open the design. So let's have a look at how we can add design. And then uh, maybe look at the code behind as well. Okay, so this is the design. So to add elements or controls to the, uh, to the design. You can you can look at the toolbar box uh, contains the uh, all the um, all the uh, I mean all Windows forms controls like the button um, test label and whatnot. Yeah. 
if you don't have it here, you can look for it by clicking the, the view. On the view side, you can scroll down. This is where you can find the box. Or you can also use Control Alt X shortcut opening as well. Okay. So let's open the two box. Here, yeah, let's drag and drop button. The button here, as you can see, we've got the button there, and it's got button one here. So let's go ahead and click and then change the text. So you can do so by go um, clicking on it and looking for the property. So this is the property. As you can see, got button one here. So if you don't find a property here, you can do the same by going to view and then looking for the property. Okay, or you can also right click it and then click on the property. The properties um, window will open. Okay. So let's let's change the, the test to um click me. Okay, so as you can see the changes has been reflected here. Okay, so to look at the code behind here, we can click on the window, then select the window and then right click it and then view code. So this will actually be taken to the code behind, which is um form on one.cs so this is where we've got our code behind so whatever events that we want to this is where we this is where the events will be handled so what we've still selected is here. so let's go ahead and and, and and make some changes and let's look for background let's see if we can change the back color now we've got the back color as Something like this, right? So let's go ahead and look for a different color. Okay. Let's put this color. So as you can see here now, we've actually changed the color. So let's go ahead and handle the um and the click event. You can double click it. So this has created a um button click a button click event for us so let's put something inside a message box dot show Well, let's let's put a test inside. Hello world. Okay. So now we can we can go ahead and run it for the first time. So we can run it here. We can run it by um, pressing F five or or clicking here. So as you can see here now, this is our Win Win Forms um our first Win Win Forms application running. So let's go ahead and click it, and we should get the Hello World showing here now. So as you can see here now, it's very simple to get yourself sorted and get started. So rather than not to complicate you too much, I'll leave this video here for now, and I hope you continue building your own thing forever. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.